Ships are air conditioned before departure. Cool air in summer, warm air in winter. The air mail and air express go up front in the nose of the ship and in the large rear compartment. Baggage goes in these compartments too. Forty pounds carried free for each passenger, more than enough for most travelers. Last but not least, the passengers themselves go aboard the ship, giving their names to the stewardess, who greets them with a friendly smile and checks them off on her passenger list. All aboard. The door is closed. The signal to depart is given. The captain presses the button that starts the motors. The first officer is talking to the traffic control tower through his radio phone. The ship taxis out to the far end of the runway and heads about into the wind. A plane always takes off or lands into the wind. The captain checks his motors, first one, then the other. officer gets his all clear go ahead signal from the airport traffic control tower and the great flagship moves forward. Jackson, near Nashville, Tennessee. Mmm, breakfast. That's another nice thing about air travel. At mealtime, delicious, well-cooked food appears before you with the compliments of the airline. Smart-looking girl. I hear they're all graduate nurses. That's so they can look after anyone who needs it, I suppose. Yes, but that isn't the principal reason. She'll probably never be needed as a nurse. Every one of them has had at least four years of uh, training and discipline. That's why they're chosen. And that's why they do their job so efficiently. Oh, I see. What's more, you get perfect rest and relaxation. You're up above the noise and commotion and nervous strain of Earth's activities. It's calm and peaceful up there. No poles, no buildings, no billboards flashing by your window. You can relax. <laughs> Thank you. 
and it's not only being on a plane, being nice, it's a lot of responsibility.